Welcome guys, and we have news from Smoke Patch. So they have put out an announcement and they are providing us with some more details about the Smoke Patch Football Life 23. They call it facts and information. So I'd like to share this information with all of you as we are monitoring, you know, we're waiting for a great product out of out of this these guys and uh since PES is not being sold anymore um, and eFootball doesn't have a product out there for offline modes, uh, these guys are working in Smoke Patch to provide us with what they call Football Life 2023. So let's see what additional details they have. Um, so they're providing here what they called is what is Football Life? I'm gonna just share with you. They are saying that this is their attempt to continue playing updated career modes using the career modes of PES. Um, basically, when they refer to updated, meaning that they will update the product to the season. So now that we have a 22-23 season, um, they, they want to make sure they provide that with all the new rosters, with new kits, etc. Uh, we promoted teams and everything like that. Um, what he's saying, what they're saying is that um, many of us, they're targeting this to audience that like to play offline mostly, because many of us do not play online matches. Uh, I know there's a, a a great community that that likes to spend their time just on the online matches, but there is also a community that likes to play offline modes, including myself. I prefer much more the uh, the offline. So. They are saying that since Konami has retired the production of the PES series and eFootball doesn't have an offline yet out there, they are trying to provide something for us to continue enjoying the game as it is and not just depend on FIFA or any other new products that might be coming out. Which, by the way, I'm monitoring also UFL, which is another product out there that we're hoping to see next year launched. All right. They talk about is football life is how we like to play the football game and they say they're going to keep the standards and look at this uh, they're showing a picture here of the master league um, using the same formats you can see the menu resembles exactly what we had in PES but they had different colors different symbols uh, it looks pretty nice very simple as you might expect um, I'm more interested in how the uh, the product will look when it's updated with all the kids, uh, stadiums, etc. Now, guys, they call this, they talk about the release date, and they are saying that they like to make sure that when they announce the release date, uh, they cannot provide a specific date, but what they're saying is likely will continue to be the target of end of October of this month. And they say, you know, it might be delayed for a few days if needed because constant updates will be provided after the release, also to enhance features and apply more updated content. Now, um, in talking about footballized team selection, um, they talk about uh, that expected lease and teams for 2023 will have as updated as they can. They're talking about that the full, at the time the Football Life is released, more teams may be included and others may be removed or added in updates. And that is because they need to keep working on this product. What they're giving us is a product that has enough content for us to enjoy, but you know, always, you know, every company does this. They never had this 100%. And it's such a, a you know, they were not never, they want a, pr a perfect product, guys. It's going to take forever and we're not going to get it. So um, I definitely look forward um, to see what they got. All right, so let's talk about the SP database. Um, they're talking about Football Life will be using the new Smoke Patch database, which is created specifically for Football Life. And, they, and they're using the PES database as a reference for the players' IDs and the team's IDs. Uh, this is important, guys, when we're putting mods and we need to attach a mini face or a face and find the player ID, etc. So we'll have those references there. That'll be great because we don't need to go through any third party uh, to find out those numbers because we need to use what they give us as for their game. 
So remember, they are doing this as a complete big mod and new product, but they're also providing the details for the players and teams IDs. So we know those are the right ones that we can be using for any additional ones. Uh, they're saying this will allow the use of new commentary files as well and other features. When we refer to add-ons, uh, they say these are optional features that can be downloaded, added separately, but most add-ons are kept optional the set the, the large file size so let's talk about this for a minute because one of the things that i kept hearing from you guys was that well you know i don't like to play with uh, or load the small patch because i need to do this basic uh patch and then i need to start adding more and more and more to get all two together i prefer to use uh, somebody else's patch because it's all included at once the problem is then you are loading uh, very large files for all those other ones. I like the approach that you can load the game here and then as you need it, if you want to have more faces and you can add more, if you want more stadiums, then you can add the ones that you're playing for the league that you're playing, etc. Uh, for example, for the faces um, add-on, the real player faces will not be included by default. But the faces will add more than 20 gigabytes to the total size. That's a good, good example. Uh, the new face pack will be available separately, and users can also use the older face pack made for PES 21. So, um, definitely, there are things that you can download from other sources from the community, like PES new update, as I've shown in some of my videos. Um, and they're keeping the game open for add ons. Okay, so this is not going to be a closed game. Uh, this is really interesting. Uh, they're talking about Master League managers, more than 100, and also will have their faces included by default. This is pretty cool. And this is coming in the original game that they are going to produce. There is some more um information here on the commentaries because as you know commentaries uh we got people from all over the world and not everyone would like to just hear the english commentary um i like to play also with the spanish and sometimes i hear the italian um so they're talking that a new english commentary version will be included in football live already and many names will be added now, other languages will also be available as an op optional add-on and all language languages will be updated to the newest version. Now, there is a, uh, uh, a modder, Predator002, that have produced a commentary add-on which it has a lot of call names. Those, that's the one with the most call names. Um, but they will also have their own SP small patch uh, with multiple languages uh, and just figure that the Predator 002 only come in English. Now kits, boots, gloves and balls, uh, they will have real kits. More than 200 teams will have the updated kits for the new season, but they recognize that they will continue to work on adding more kits. And this happens with any optional files. That's why you get versions that keep coming out. Nothing, nothing different here and it's only fair. Now, um, they talk about model stadiums. Um, and here's an example of one of their small patch stadium uh, picture here. Um, they will have uh, 17 fake stadiums for diversity. And many of these that you can add on, you know, when you're having a league, uh, you can add a fake stadium and you can always customize it a little bit, right? You can customize the nets, the seat color, um, the stadium colors, the site, you know, the, on the field, around the field, um, things like that. Um, now here's the list of stadiums included in Football Life. Uh, Spotify, Camp No, with the new you know, Spotify contract uh, in Spain. And there's the list, Old Trafford, uh, Alliance Stadium in Italy, etc. There is a group here of stadiums that they have the cider next to them that's will be added through the cider add-on and they have here also the list of fake stadiums which you know i will recommend that we don't use those and we're going to be downloading them through a cider 
from the community or from perhaps 150 stadiums that they said they would provide. Now the stadium model size is big, so they know this takes a lot of space. If they were to provide all the stadiums that they can, we have like for example Dream Patch out there, and it's more than 100 gigabytes. How many people have the capacity to do that? So um, they provide some text here and they say, you know, we can decide what stadiums you can add through the add-on process, you know, through the cider, the cider that they're going to provide. Um, so a, a modified cider is included in Football Life already by default. This is pretty cool. And the stadiums for PES 21 can be added with ease and we'll be creating a tutorial for that when the stadium add-on is released. I will assume that these are the stadium for PS 2021 that are in the add-on version, and then you can add them to this one, to this, to this football life. Uh, new stadium add-on will be around 150 additional stadium that can be downloaded and added to the football life. So here are some pictures of the uh, or the different uh, you know teams that you will see here for example the premier league uh, you see the background in brown uh, they got all the symbols updated here this would not not the forest in there got another picture here of the uh, liga santander you see that they got my majorca there included this here uh, promoted rayo vallecano there at the bottom as well they even had the Brazil et al. City A in Brazil. Very nice. Uh, you know, I don't mind the brown. It was pretty cool. Um, they got the Turkish Super League as well. And uh, and here is a picture of the kids. And you see, without the face bag, it's going to look, you know, the generic guys. Obviously, we all want to be adding football life with the face bag. I don't know. There you get your Lewandowski. This is the only way I would play too. I mean, I like to have those faces to, to, to you know, to differentiate in the guy. You feel like you're playing that game. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, of course, uh, very important aspect here. They talk about all the contents are created and shared through the small patch guide. This is not going to be through Steam or any other route because this is free. It's totally free and they're providing this to us. Um, now, of course, you know how to download this through any other sources. It's very important. Just use their site um, and they will be working on add-ons and tutorials that are very helpful always uh, for us to know how we're going to download these things and implement it and put it in our computer. All right, guys. So this is all I had. So. Uh, with all that said, um, I think this is going to be a great product and we can wait to see it. Um, end of October, it may carry on a few days past October and uh, I'll be covering that in the